men that constantly pander to women are full of shit. That's right. Any man that overly panders to women is full of shit. And we're going to talk about it today. I don't know if you guys have heard the recent development with Michael Eric Dyson. He recently got exposed by Nancy Match, if I'm not mock or I forget her name. Right, but she recently just exposed him on I think the Congress floor, the Senate floor, I forget. But basically what happened was Michael Eric Dyson and this this white woman, Nancy, um, they had a working relationship as far as being cordial. They were cool. They knew about each other. And then, of course, like every pandering liberal, he jumps out there and calls Nancy a racist because apparently he didn't say she didn't say Kamala Harris's name right all this goofy stuff Nancy then gets on camera and she gets um, on the Senate floor and she screenshots a message first of all it's a picture of them together hugged up and if you guys go back and look at that picture, Michael Eric Dyson has his arms gripping her hip. You guys know when you take a photo with the woman and you put your hands around her, this man had his hands on the woman's hip. He was attracted to this woman because if you go back and look at another photo that he took with a black woman, he that hand on that hip wasn't right there. You guys go do your own research. And this isn't a um, black versus white video. I'm just pointing out this, this certain stuff because the context matters, right? And so, <laughs> see, Michael Eric Dyson, he's, he's from, I think he graduated in one of the Northeastern schools, Vanderbilt or something. He's a very intelligent guy. Um, but let's be real. There's only white girls up there. So I don't know why he would jump out there and act like he, he's so pro-black and stuff. And he's been, he been around white people and white girls all his life. And he's going to pretend like he don't like white girls. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, man. Come on, bro. But the crux of this video is to show that men that overly pander to women, like Michael Eric Dyson did to Kamala Harris, and other black women calling her a racist because she mispronounced his name and some other stupid shit. Um, they're full of shit. And I'm going to tell you women, especially you black women that fall into that pro-black liberal BS, the hidden secret that those pro-blacks won't tell you is they secretly love white women. They secretly love white women or they're pandering to get into your draws as a black woman or they're just secretly down low brothers. Like how many times do these guys have to get exposed before you guys stop falling for this BS? So, women are easily fooled by the Jared, by the I said Jared, by the um, Derek Jacksons of the world. But they'll look at a Kevin Samuels and celebrate his death as if he wasn't telling these women the truth. You women are easily fooled. You don't know. See, women act like they're so intelligent. I don't think you're as intelligent as you think, as you say you are. Your intuition, because if your intuition was so sharp you would see through some of these guys as BS. You would see it, recognize it rather quickly 
because it's actually pretty easy to find out. But one of the main reasons why you women keep falling for this, these pro-blacks, these guys that overly pander to women is you have low self-esteem. You have an inferiority complex. You don't think very highly of yourself. So you need every little uh, get me up, every little compliment that you can get. And those men know that, which is why this is one of their ways and, str and strategies to get into your pants. Let's be real, guys. Um, some of these guys, the way that they be pandering on to women on the internet, like they be pandering to shit that a woman is clearly wrong in. Like they're like, if a woman hits you, you should you should just work out, work it out with her, and you know teach her to be a better woman, and and you know she just a uh, excuse me. You know, it was just, it was the past guy that she was uh, traumatized by. So you got to look past her hitting you this time to heal her from the past experience that she had. I'm like, bro, if you don't shut your stupid ass up, any woman that hits any man should get left immediately. You, that woman need to go to therapy. If it, she had a tra uh, traumatizing past, go to therapy, get that stuff figured out. Why are you even in a relationship? Like, these guys pander to the point to where it's illogical. And as a woman, what 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 advantage do you get from having a man that panders to you? Don't you want a guy to put you in your place when you're wrong? Like, want you want somebody to tell you the truth? If you walk if you walk out the door in some clothes and you look stupid in them clothes don't you want your man to tell you you look stupid or hey you need to adjust your hair or something because a lot of you women be going out in public thinking you all fine and stuff just to find out that you're not all that fine it was something you had a clothing malfunction or that uh clothing that you picked ain't really fashionable as you thought it was and you're getting different weird looks from people out in the world Because the men that respect women, honestly, they don't have to go that hard in the pain. You don't have to pander to women that hard if you respect women. If your household is doing just fine, you don't have to voice it out loud for everybody to hear it. You just, you know what it is. So, any of these men online that are overly pandering to women for no reason, they're trying to get your money too, by the way, because they know women are uh, a pretty good consumer base in today's economy. So, they're trying to get your money too, because they know you're going to spend that money. For the things that you support so they're trying it's a, it's a whole lots of variables why men pander to women so it's weird right because we keep seeing these same cycles i know some of you guys want longer videos but this is coming kind of coming to a close um we keep seeing these same cycles over and over and over again. And people just keep falling for it, man. And it has to be, there's something with that. There's something with women going, there's something going on with women today with their low self-esteem, which is weird, right? Because this is the feminism matriarchal uh, point in society that we are in where women don't struggle to really get anything done, but yet there's they're some of the most insecure women at this point in time. It's really peculiar 
once you get to thinking about it. But hell, I, what was it, Jezebel? King Ahab was a simp doing everything that she asked and that kingdom fell. So maybe these women love to worship, even if it's bad worship. Maybe these women love the lies, the beautiful lies that come out of these, these pandering men So that's my video, guys. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.